one of the biggest reasons why your channel is not growing is because you have very bad thumbnails. In this video, I will show you how to create great thumbnails for free on your phone. Let's get those credits rolling. So many creators take time, create beautiful videos, create something that is worth watching, then they go the next step of actually uploading it in nice HD video. Some of you even do it in 4K. And then the thumbnail that you put does not give a good representation of what is the kind of content that is there. So you have examples such as this one that I have placed right here, which is just an estimation by YouTube on exactly what your video is all about. And 90% of the time, the YouTube algorithm on choosing thumbnails is wrong. So that is why you need to go on your phone and go under custom thumbnail and then upload something much better. Before you do this, there are two apps that I want you to download on your phone. The first one is called Snapseed. The second is called Canva. And then I will explain to you why and what process you should use to create your thumbnail. So after you have actually shot your video, the next thing that you need to do is pose different poses that represent something close to what your video is all about. And as I'm saying this, you will actually see me posing and showing what you need to actually do. And then the next thing that you need to do is pick these images and select which you think is the best one for the job. The next thing that you need to do is go on your Snapseed app and then I want you to tweak this photo a little bit. When you're scrolling on your YouTube feed, the thing that makes you stop to look at a thumbnail and click on the video is how attractive that thumbnail looks like. Because that's the first thing that you see the thumbnail, the image that has been put in front of you. Before you can even look at the title, and we will talk about the title in a later video, but today we are talking about the thumbnail. Before you even look at the title, you look at the thumbnail. Is this thumbnail calling me in? And the thing that you need to do now on the Snapseed app is increase the contrast. You can increase the brightness if the photo is a little underexposed. Then you go on saturation and increase the saturation a little bit more than what is usual for a normal photograph. The reason you're doing this is because as someone is scrolling on the YouTube feed, they have very little time to actually decide whether they give your video a chance or not. And they have no idea what your video is all about apart from what they're seeing on the thumbnail. So a saturated photo will actually be more visible to the eye because we are attracted to the color that is there. Don't overdo it, but increase the saturation. So once you have done that, just export, put it in your gallery. Then the next thing that we need to do now is go and open the Canva app. The reason I love the Canva app is because you can be able to do anything. You can be able to create posters, you can be able to create flyers, logos as well. Although if you don't have money then because it's free, you can actually use it. If you're actually doing a logo for your company then I wouldn't advise you use Canva. But the reason that we have come to this app is because of the thumbnail capabilities. Now. You can actually do one of two things, which you should try. Now you go under social, then you will see YouTube thumbnails. When you see YouTube thumbnails, then you'll see there's beauty, there's food, there are different other genres on channels. So you can make your choices from there. 
you can start there or you can just go under blank and when you get the blank one then you can actually start from a normal canvas the next thing that you do is press the plus button that is just at the bottom this will bring up your gallery then you go on your gallery it's usually the very last photo that you've done the one that we have been uh, we edited on snapseed that's the one that you'll actually see here so you pick that in and now you position it inside this box this box is actually 1280 by 720 those are the specifications for the thumbnail the pixels that are required for the thumbnail so you position it fill it up mostly if you want you can actually leave a border if that is your style but for this one we'll actually fill it all in then the next thing that we need to do is place text on it so the essence of actually putting text is we are trying to give a very concise message to our potential viewer before they make that choice so they will look and usually this is even less than a second they will look at your thumbnail and from there they will decide should I watch this shouldn't I watch this that's the kind of decision that someone is trying to make and if you have placed text on your thumbnail the thing that you need to look out for is a design issue don't place text on top of your face because then it distracts from what you're trying to do what we are trying to achieve is whenever someone looks at our thumbnail they will see the photo they will see an expression and these expressions are the ones that actually help for someone to decide whether they should really watch so it's usually like a surprise or someone has a question or someone is frustrated or someone is crying whatever expression that we are trying to evoke in the viewer then the text is supposed to amplify the expression so ideally don't do so many words on this thumbnail because it will make you use very small font or very small font sizes for the text that you place there ideally you should do one or two words maximum i would advise is four words because if you do four words then you're doing four different lines so that someone actually reads that don't try and put it on one straight horizontal line because then that looks tacky and then it will not be seen but we want the text to also shout so what we can do is go to the plus sign again and then add a shape which we will place underneath the text so that the text actually speaks out to us it actually jumps out to us that's the thing that we are trying to do so with this you can make different designs that you want of how you want the thumbnail to look what i would advise is that do not place a lot of text on the right of the thumbnail because at the very bottom that's where the timestamp usually shows up so if you have placed a lot of text and then you take it onto youtube then the timestamp will actually hide that particular word that you place at the bottom so i would advise do the text on the left or make sure that you have left space at the bottom for the timestamp so these are the things that you need to do once you have done this then you can take it to youtube and upload your custom thumbnail the thing i would want you to do the next time that you're doing your video when you want to upload it place it on scheduled fast so that you can be able to actually upload your custom thumbnail you can be able to do your titling you can be able to do your descriptions and your tags first of all before you actually set it to go live because if you take it public and then you haven't done all these things it kind of messes up the success that would have been gotten by this particular video because what you end up doing is people may not respond to the video the very first time because you haven't put in the titles you haven't put in the thumbnail and then youtube may think that this video is not good so make sure that you have put in all these things and then once you have done that then you can set the video to public there is another way that you can do thumbnails for those of you who don't want to take this time 
and do this from Canva and to Snapseed, you can actually be able to download a kit, a thumbnail kit. It's a pack that I use personally where you just need to plug in the photo that you're going to use with different designs that are there. All you just need to is change colors, change fonts, but the basic idea on the thumbnail is already done for you. So if you feel that that is the feel of the thumbnail that you want to go for, then that is exactly what you do. There is a link down below. It's the first link that you will see. That's the one that you can click on and purchase that because it is a paid product. Once you purchase that, once you download that, you just go on Photoshop and you can be able to make small amendments and then you have your thumbnail and you upload it in the same way like we have talked about in this video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to title your videos so that you can be able to get more views. See you in the next one.